And good afternoon. It's Thursday. It's 3.08 and it's time for you to be adrenalized. That's right, folks. It's time to get that blood flowing and get re-energized. Why? Because you're here. You're alive and it's time to be motivated to live your best life. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, Mindset Coach Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning in today on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. It is just absolutely awesome outside right now. The temperature is that perfect, perfect 70-something degrees, and it is just absolutely phenomenal outside. So if you haven't gotten up from your desk yet or you're driving, make sure those windows are open. Go get outside. Take a quick walk and get that blood flowing. Let's get adrenalized, people. All right. I want to hear from you. All right. Visit me at TomMarino.com. That's TomMarino.com. Hey, listen, if you're a solopreneur, a business owner, business leader, and you know, you're know you struggling with a little bit of burnout, a little bit of stress, you're a little overwhelmed, you're overthinking stuff, you're not getting done the things that you usually get done, then text me at 516-588-0750. That's 516-588-0750. Just text me and let's set up a time to chat. All right. So before we get into the show today, I want to thank our sponsor, New House Restoration, where they turn your damaged old house into a new house. Visit them at newhouserestoration.com. That's newhouserestoration.com. If you've had a fire, flood, sewer backup, or asbestos, contact New House Restoration. And hey, they're also doing pressure washing. They do power washing. So it's that time of year where your house needs to be power washed, your concrete needs to be power washed. Give them a call, New House Restoration. It's 631 604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. And tell Josh and Kristen that Tom Marino sent you. All right. So we have a very special guest in the studio today. I want to welcome to the show Craig Bender. Craig is an independent licensed insurance broker. And in his pre-interview questionnaire, he just described it perfectly. He describes what he does as being a professional matchmaker. He collects information from you shops it around to the best insurance company and provides you with the best rates based on your needs. So Craig is also the brother of a former guest of mine, Alicia Bender. And Alicia and his mom and her mom now host the We Cover It All show on Tuesdays right here on LI News Radio 103.9 at 4.30 in the afternoon. So tune in to listen to Alicia and Sherry on Tuesdays at 4.30 on 103.9 LI News Radio. All right, Craig, take it away, my friend. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Tom. Hey, listen, I'm, I, I loved what we talked about when we first had a conversation about your journey to being an insurance broker and what that's all about. So tell us, tell the story. What, wh- how, how did you wind up in insurance? <laughs> so it was, um, I graduated high school in 2017 and then uh, I went for my insurance test. So I passed my insurance test, but it wasn't, I was still selling cars at the time. And then it wasn't until there was, um, some health issues with my mom where she had to take a step back and mm-hmm. that's where I, I wanted to step up. So from that point, I went to Buffalo, New Buffalo. And then, uh, that's where I went for my, for a seminar. So okay. it was, it was seven days and it was a producer school. Then at the end of the seven days, that's where I won most valuable producer. So it was kind of very motivating and it yep. built up my incur like it, it made me excited to say, you know what, I'm going to put my two weeks in and I'm going insurance full time. Fantastic. That, that's awesome. So you just took the plunge right in. You just dove right in. Just jumped right in. That is awesome. Are you type of guy that dri- dives right in all the time? Yeah. Impulse. Yeah. Impulse. Uh, Impulse. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to talk about that you know, on the show today. So tell people a little bit about what insurance you handle. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about your business and how people can reach you. Absolutely. So personal and commercial insurance sell it for every company besides Allstate, State Farm, Geico. And pretty much, I, like you said, I'm a professional matchmaker. So how you can reach me is by phone, 631-371-7711. You can reach me on my Instagram, Craig underscore will underscore insure you too. Um, but pretty much what I do on a day-to-day is just I 
speak with individuals and business owners to make sure that they are properly protected and the policy that they have fits exactly what they're doing and making sure that there's no gaps in their policy to make sure that they're properly insured because it's not always about just saving money. It's mm-hmm. about being properly covered in the time of a loss. Absolutely. And, and I remember when your sister was on the show, she actually said that you want a certain insurance. You want people to want insurance. You don't want them to need it. Yeah. Is that your philosophy too? So it's, I do want them to want it, but it's also up to me to educate them and explain to them exactly the importance behind the policy that they are purchasing. That's awesome. So you cover businesses, you do, do you do auto home? Yep. You name it, I insure it. Life? Uh, life, I'm not licensed for, but I do have a partner. Oh, you have a partner who handles life insurance. That's fantastic. And the name of your business is? Insure You Two Services. Insure You Two Services. I should have known that. That was on your license plate out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> insure You Two Services. That's awesome. So, Craig, what's your favorite thing about being in insurance? Definitely the relationships. I mean, you build rapport with, I build rapport with my clients and being able to be there for a client in the time of need, it, it, it fuels me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, the, on Monday I, I did have a client that had a house fire and just the 10 minutes after the phone call within 15 minutes, I was already there. And just to be there to, um, take care of her dogs while she was able to talk to the fire marshal, the restoration company, and just to be there and help any way that I could. And knowing that she has the policy that she needs to protect herself, that it fuels. Yeah. That was totally satisfying for yeah. you. That's fantastic. So, what you know? What got you on this journey to insurance? Just you just decided after being in car sales, and you just wanted to pivot. You were interested. What was the thing that really changed? I know you said about your mom, but what was it about you that was different? You, what it is, it's and being in like the the car industry when, especially in a dealership, when you when you're selling vehicles, it's you do the month starts on the first, ends on the thirtieth or the thirty first, and then on the the first of the next month. It starts all over again, back to zero. So luckily I got into insur- back full-time in insurance at a right time before COVID because mm-hmm. insurance is recession-proof. Mm-hmm. Two biggest purchases in any, not anyone's life, but the major two biggest purchases are your home and your car. Right. So at, at that point, you can't leave the closing table or the dealership without insurance. So I wanted to make a pivot mm. to something more recession-proof and something where you need me. Right. You know, it was funny. Before the show started, we were out there talking. We know we're live at MacArthur Airport and uh, American Airlines just announced that they're going to be pulling service back from here because they need pilots. And right away, Craig was on the insurance. How is that going to impact our tickets and the price of tickets? And what did you say? So, I mean, if if they need pilots, they have new pilots coming in. Same thing as a youthful driver, it would be a youthful pilot, right. and therefore the rates going up for their insurance policies will then in terms raise the tickets for the flights. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's amazing how, you know, right away when you're in certain industries, you think a certain way, and that was just, that just struck me as brilliant. So you know what you're doing. So people, listen, if you have a question for Craig while he's on the show here today, we are live in the studio. Give us a call at 631-451-1039. That's 631-451-1039. And Craig, tell us again, um, What's the easiest way to to reach you? The best way is to give me a call. So that's the one thing that really does separate me is that when you have a policy with me, you're not calling a 1-800 number. You're calling Craig Bender's phone. So you can give me a call at 631-371-7711 and I'm going to you're going to get me. You're, you're going to get, get you. You're going to get my voicemail, you're going to get a text, you're you're going to get a response. So uh, when that customer of yours had that fired she got you on the phone right away yep. and, and you have that relationship and you were able to be there for that person yeah I, ha- I had to drop everything i was doing and just go right to the home that that's amazing that that's fantastic that's the type of customer service that we need in this world right yeah. we need someone in a respected field who's going to help us at our moment of utter desperation and in that case that was probably a very tough situation for that person and you were there man that's awesome absolutely all right well listen if give us a call at 631-451-1039 that's 631-451-1039 if you have a question for craig about insurance about anything that he does around insurance we're going to get into craig a little bit more after this commercial break so stay tuned we'll talk to you soon 
This is Tom Marino of The Tom Marino Show here. Imagine you wake up and you've had a major sewer back up in your home. Well, let me tell you about a company that I've worked with personally, New House Restoration, where they take your damaged old house and make it a new house. For any water, fire, mold, or asbestos damage, please call them at 631-604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. New House Restoration. And welcome back. This is the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, Mindset Strategy Coach, Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in. And uh, we are speaking today with Craig Bender from Insure You 2. That's Insure You 2. And Craig can be reached on Instagram at Craig Will Insure You 2. Both underscores after Craig and underscore after Will. So Craig underscore Will underscore Insure You 2, the number two. Um, so Craig, I wanted to talk a little bit about something that you mentioned in the last part of the, of the show where we were talking about, you know, impulses and being able to pivot and do things impulsively. And I said, is that always how you've been? And you, st- you told me about your diagnosis of ADHD. So tell me a little bit about your journey and how you refer to it as your superpower. And I, I just love that. Yeah. So, I mean, I was diagnosed in about, I want to say the second grade and it was something that I always battled with. I mean, I never did homework. I never, I never did anything I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. So it was, but when it was, when I was younger, it was WWE. I was in front of the TV screen watching it and I was addicted. And then it was video games and it was really whatever I wanted to do at the time. Mm -hmm. So as I grew, grew older, it was, I, I, I liked working and I liked helping people and I was obsessed with paintball. So at the time I went to, I would, I was about 13 years old um, and I remember going into school because I used to never go into school on my birthday. I went into school, got my working papers and that following weekend I started working at high velocity paintball. Uh. And, (laughs) and from that point it was like, I, because I liked paintball, it was, that's what I wanted to do. So I was there, I was working and then that kind of just unfolded into a work ethic that, where ADHD kind of supported it because it was I was always doing something else. It was if I'm refing or if I'm doing I'm selling paintball guns in the pro shop or whatever the case may be. But how that comes into insurance is I am able to do so many different things mm-hmm. at once where I know what's going on and it's where the superpower really takes place. Is um, many people think of think of it as where it's like oh it. It do, it's not going to work out because you have this or like right. you can, you can. well people would be concerned that you're not going to be able to finish something right but yeah. that's not the case at all no. you're getting it done you've you've figured out the way to to make it happen and work for you as opposed to it working against you would you say exactly yeah and and you know it it really speaks to what i think is so important you know when we are you know we all have different challenges right yeah. We all have different challenges. We have different experiences. And, and you know what? That becomes our normal, right? Whatever our challenge may be. You know, some people, it is depression. Some people, it's anxiety. Some people, you know, I mean, I have anxiety. I know I, I get anxious often and worry about a lot of different things. And that's why I, go, I went into coaching to help other people by helping myself in some way, right? Yeah. But I think that's one of the things that you, you have to be willing to admit is is what you have and not deny it and see how you can use it to your advantage and it sounds like that you have found a way to be productive be dedicated to your work and and be able to accomplish a lot yeah and weren't you just recognized recently in some magazine or something yeah i was recognized on the independent agents magazine which gets sent to all 50 states insurance brokers all around the world and um they pretty much Put, they put me on the front cover. They did. They did a whole article about me, um, and also to complement that, it was the Young Agent of the Year for 2021 that I was awarded the year last year. So you have been recognized as a premier independent agent. Yes. At this point. Yeah. And you're how old? 23. 23 years old, already on the cover of Independent Agent Magazine, and the number one agent for 2021. Yeah. And how many years have you been doing insurance? Uh, three and a half. That's phenomenal. Well, congratulations, man. That is an awesome, awesome accomplishment. What was it that they, why did they reach out to you? How did you get recognized? How did that come about? Uh, so thankfully, I had, um, I, I met other insurance brokers at different events and one introduced me to the Big Eye Association. And uh, pretty much from there, I got involved. I was able to, and it's amazing how much the 
you don't really see what's going on in the insurance industry until mm -hmm. you belong to association. I believe any occupation or career has their different associations that you could join. Right. But I joined and I was able to meet so many different individuals and networking and, and I really just took it and ran and I try to put myself in everything that they're doing so I could be involved and, and be a part of the association. And that's kind of where I was, they saw my recognition. Um, they recognized. That's fantastic. Congratulations Thank again, you. man. That's awesome. So we are not just talking to any insurance agent. We are talking to a really talented, very dedicated to his work, someone who is excelling already at a very young age in his career. So if you have a question for him, give us a call at 631-451-1039. That's 631-451-1039. Again, we're speaking with Craig Brand, uh, Bender. And, uh, you know, Craig, tell us a little bit more about, um, I, I know that you had also this major transformation in, in your weight as well. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about that. So it was, I want to say it was 2020, uh, 2020 and I was, I mean, I've been overweight my whole life, but it wasn't, it got to a point where it was like, I mean, I was sitting in the barber chair and I, my sides are touching both sides of the chair. I'd get in the car. It's like you just, and I knew that it would come to a point where if I lost the weight, I, it would have more energy to sell more insurance, work harder, work more. And it, I would wake up earlier. So, I mean, it's energy management at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, but I was just, I was very overweight. And what ended up happening was I had a client of mine, Bill Caputo, that I just insured his vehicles and he was a bodybuilder. So I asked mm -hmm. him, I was like, if, is there anything that you could tell me to help me lose weight? And he said, absolutely. So he took me under his wing. And the biggest thing that I'll never forget is he would always say, your success is my reward. It was it was never a payment. I never paid him to mm -hmm. train me, but because he wanted to do it and because he truly felt that my success was his reward, that's that it touched me. So now I had a commitment to him and myself. So right. from there, we, we went, we trained about five months. And from that point, I lost about 40, 45 pounds. And um, unfortunately, in December 16th, he passed away. Oh man. So, um, I, I didn't know what to do. I was devastated. I mean, he was my best friend for the last five months right. uh, of that, that okay. transformation. Yeah. Um, but now this is, it goes into, am I going to give up or am I going to, am I going to keep going and, and finish what we started? So right. from that point, that's when, um, I signed up for a body transformation show in Iowa. So oh. it, it was like, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm motivated. And thankfully, I mean, I have to give a big shout out to Nick Page at the trainer page, Rick, Rick Schaefer at No Limits and uh, Coach Stacks at Stacks Athletics, because it was like, at that time, it was, they really came, they helped me, they knew what I was going through and they, mm -hmm. and they helped me put in the work. And I, it, I have to thank them because after losing your best friend, I mean, you lose so much motivation and it's right. like, you have to keep going. Right. And, and that, that there again, that motivation slash impulsivity was really the thing that kept you going. You, yeah. you wanted to accomplish that and you use that whole situation to say, no, I'm not going to stop doing it. And what a gift that he gave you in the last five months of his life, really. I mean, that's just tremendous. And what was your total weight loss overall? I lost 85 pounds, 47 inches, and 10% body fat. Wow, that is phenomenal. I hope that people listening right now, if you're going through, and I'm going to speak right to you, if you're going through a tough time, if you're struggling getting stuff done, if you're not sure what you're doing right now, and, and you know that something needs to change, I want you to hear what Craig is saying. It's be motivated to make the change happen. Keep going. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. And even someone leaving your life at that point, you still manage to go forward. Yeah. And that's what it's about. It's always about going forward. What an awesome, incredible story. I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, Thank it you. sounds like he was a great guy. That he was really, amazing. I mean, wound up going 85, I mean, 80 something pounds. That's, that's, that's incredible. It's a child. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a small, it's a small child. You lost a fourth grader. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, we'll, we'll get back into uh, a little bit more about uh, what you actually did in that process. But what an amazing, how did you keep such a positive mindset? Uh, through which part would you say? Like, the, like through just the whole process. I mean, it was something where because it sucked, it was just do it 
get it over with and it's no excuses. I mean, I would always say not good enough. That's fantastic. I I love that. I love that. It's not good enough to to stop. All right. We're going to take a quick commercial break. And uh, after this, we will be back speaking with Craig Bender. If you have a question, give us a call at 631-451-1039. That's 631-451-1039. And we will have more with Craig after this break. And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, success strategy coach, Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I, uh, you know, this is a beautiful Thursday afternoon. I hope that you've gotten outside. You've gotten that blood flowing. I hope, take us on a walk. Take the, take, that's the beautiful thing about radio people and podcasting. You can go on a walk and you can listen to us and you can bring us with you, but definitely get out there, get some exercise, get that blood flowing. We've been talking with Craig Bender from uh, Insure You Too. Craig is an independent uh, agent and uh, he is not just an independent agent. He's an up and rising star in the insurance business. And because of that, I think that's why we have a caller on line one because they want to talk to Craig and they want his expertise. So David Borg, welcome to the show. Thanks for calling in. Oh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Actually, I'm, uh, hey, how's you doing, Tom? Good, hey, thanks. Craig, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, Dave? Good. So, good. I'm calling Craig actually on a health question because I know he lost 85 pounds, which is, like you said, a fourth grader. So I guess, you know, there's obviously the nice component of, of getting fit, but there's also the diet perspective. So, Craig, how did you deal with cravings for either junk food or alcohol or whatever it is? Because uh, I'm sure, I mean, that's a huge issue with a lot of people where they can put the work in, but they can't, you know, lay off the uh, the sweets or the uh, chips or burgers or beer. Absolutely. How do you do that? So when it, when it comes to the sweets, if, if, if you're full, you're not hungry. So if you stay full on the right food, proteins and uh, the, the healthy fats and the healthy carbs, you're not going to want to have those sweets. But it's also a mindset that you just have to dig down deep with inside yourself and say that this is what I'm doing and this is how it's going to happen. So you want to do it in that perspective. And I mean, that's really the way there's no there's no cheat code. It's just about doing it. Yeah, it's about, I mean, it, it, it's that determination, it sounds like, that you have really, you know, really embraced for doing. And you're right, the, the healthy, I tell people all the time when I'm coaching people, especially when they have diet issues, I, I always say, listen, find that new favorite fruit, food when you're dieting, yeah. right? Find that, like, if, if chocolate is your favorite food right now, find a replacement for that, right? What's your new favorite food, Right. Maybe it's sushi. Yeah. Maybe it's a certain salad. Maybe it's a certain way you make your salad. But you really have to really embrace something new to replace the thing that's no longer good for you. Yeah, and especially when it comes to the beer question. I mean, it does just because you're on a weight loss journey doesn't mean you can't drink. But drink smart. I mean, you can have a McUltra that's 90 calories and it's like 1.1 carbs. So it's you can have five of those instead of a um, a dirty martini or right. a vodka seltzer it's 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 the smarter move now welcome to the tom marino show where we discuss alcohol as well (laughs) (laughs) we're discussing different types of drinks but you're right david that's that was a great question appreciate your heads up on that so much fantastic and if you need help david you know if you're going through your own weight loss battle or you want to talk to someone feel free to reach out to me you can text me uh i coach a lot of people through uh diet and exercise and and how to establish better routines and habits so feel free to reach out 516-588-0750 just text me uh, and we can get on a call and see if we can help you out but and we know a lot of people there's been a few people on this show that actually have helped a lot of people who help a lot of people to lose weight um grit and why is one of the people who belongs to Long Island that work is Sarai. Uh, and she's out in, uh, she's local in West Islip, I think. So she's great. She got a kickboxing thing and she's a, another diet and nutrition person. So it's fantastic. We have a great community of people to help people uh, through all of their challenges, which is phenomenal. Which brings me to, you know, another point. I mean, Craig, you've overcome so many challenges, right? Your weight loss the ADHD, I mean, just trying, you know, just making it all work for you, right? What was anything that you feared that got in the way of you? Like, what, what, did anything create any doubt in you that you couldn't do these things? There was no doubt, but what really came about was the not giving up, 
not disappointing people because the biggest thing it's like when you when you make it public that oh you're trying to lose weight or i've lost 10 pounds it's you're holding yourself accountable because the next time that mm-hmm. you see someone that you just said that to and you and you and you're not going down and but you get bigger or whatever the case may be it's like you you get looked at a, i feel like a different way where it's right. like i i wanted to hold myself accountable and and just being able to say i'm doing it and i'm that's it. Yeah. And I mean, it really fits in with what you were saying earlier and how Bill was such a big help to you was that accountability piece, right? And that's one of the things that I always tell people as, as a coach, you, you need someone to hold you accountable. If you don't have someone to hold you accountable, if you're not, you, it's hard to hold ourselves accountable at mm-hmm. times, right? We know ourselves yep. and we know how to, how to manipulate that accountability. But when you're working with someone, when you hire a trainer or you hire a coach or you hire, you know, even, you know, like a, a, a tutor, you're hiring someone to hold you accountable to doing the work. And that's what it's really about, isn't it? And it's, I think that's the hardest part is the accountability. And especially like with Bill, it was, he would call me three times a day and it was uh. like, what are you eating? What are you doing? And every time I went out to eat, it was, you send me a picture of the menu and I'll tell you what you're getting. And then ironically, it was always a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Why? Right. Because every restaurant had it. And that was nine out of 10 times the best thing that I could eat right. from that restaurant. And it was just having that ability to, I know what I, I was supposed to eat, but just maybe I don't want to pick it. Or, right. I mean, you don't eat throughout the day. Then at the at the end of the day, you're so hungry that it's like, you know, I'm, I'm just stopping at McDonald's. I'm stopping at the pizzeria because it's quick. Well, it's fast. That's the thing. I think we all get caught up into that fast food piece when we are busy, right? Yep. It becomes, uh, it's quick, it's easy, it's done, I'm hungry, I, it's on demand, right? It's a, Fast food has been the on demand culture for the longest time. We get used to it. Like, I mean, I'll admit the other night, my son had a baseball game, it was late, you know, my wife wasn't feeling well, I said, let's just, let's just get McDonald's. It was quick, it was easy, but when you make a habit of that over and over and over and over, that's when it becomes problematic. A once, one-off, a once in a while is not a bad thing. And I think that's one of the things that about diet and exercise that's so important to realize is that you don't have to eliminate your favorite foods. You just got to moderate, right? I mean, you got to reduce. That's it. And just step back and, and, and find a new favorite food Yeah. and find that new go-to. I even had somebody tell me once, wherever you store that chocolate, go put it in a different cabinet. So you so you have to go looking for it. Because if it's in the same spot over and over, you're just conditioning yourself to go back there over and over and over. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. Because if you do that, what's going to happen? You're going to keep eating it. Exactly. So. And, that, and, and just to like piggyback off of that, mm-hmm. it was the... The biggest thing was, and this was, this logic made the most sense to me. He, Bill would say, you just have to lose one pound a week. So if we weighed in on a Thursday, next Thursday, you just have to be one pound lighter. Mm. So it's like if in reality, if there's 52 weeks in a year, you could lose 52 pounds in one year. And you and if you're eating whatever you want, that's okay. it might be okay if you're, if you're right. exercising. But one pound a week, just make sure that you are one pound less than you were the week before. Right. And, and that is such a critical point. It's not about big changes. It's those small, consistent changes that you can see every week, week after week after week. And one pound a week, that's a great philosophy. You can lose 52 pounds in a year if you focus on that one pound. And one pound is not that difficult, especially in the beginning. It's, it gets more difficult when you get down 20, 30 pounds. Yeah. That's when it really starts. It's like a half a pound a week yeah. at that point. <laughs> but you're right. It, I mean, it's the small incremental changes. That's what really makes a difference. So, um, Craig, listen, I, I just want to appreciate you being here so much. Uh, I think you are an inspiration to so many. Your weight loss, your aspirations career-wise, your success already to this point. So just tell people how they can reach out to you and what's the best way again. Yeah, thank you, Tom, for having me. And the best way to reach me is by cell phone. Shoot me a text. Shoot me a call. I'm on Instagram. My phone is 631-371-7711. Again, that's 631-371-7711. And you can also reach me on Instagram at Craig underscore Will underscore ensure you too. Again, that's Craig underscore will underscore ensure you too. And um, if your insurance broker is not providing you defensive driving or uh, can't do carco photo inspections and you don't feel like you're getting the customer service that you need, you can always reach out to me. Awesome. And you're doing a defensive driving course soon, right? Yes, I do. Yep. There's one coming up in July? Or yes, what? I have a defensive driving course July 30th, then you have August 13th, and then August 20th. All right, fantastic. So reach out to Craig if you need defensive driving, if you need insurance, 
He is your guy Alright Craig Thanks again for being here Really appreciate it And listen We will come back After the commercial break And today's topic Is going to be on Hearing versus listening And I'm going to have more For you after this break Talk to you soon And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I am your host, mindset and strategy coach, Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Again, I just want to thank Craig Bender for being on today's show. What an inspiration, really. He's just an amazing person. You know, for someone so young, he's overcome so many different battles and so many different challenges, and he just has a tremendous mindset. And uh, it really was inspirational when I first uh, actually was able to speak to him and find out more about what he did. And all of his stories were just just tremendous. And, you know, he's just going to have one of these great lives. I could just tell he's just going to be so successful in what he does because he goes after it and he's not afraid of it. And and I think that's a lot of what we have to remember is, is that, you know, we've got to turn some of our regular challenges into opportunities. We have to always see whatever challenge we're being faced with as an opportunity to grow and to learn and to do better. And I really see that he has done that. And I just think that that's, that's fantastic. And it, it really is wonderful to see such a positive, positive mindset when you've been through so many different challenges and when you've been faced with so much that you don't lose the motivation. And he talked about the accountability and the accountability is really critical to everyone's success. We need people to hold us accountable and to, to, to help us through the change transformation process that we are going through. You know, I often tell people, find an accountability buddy, right? An accountability buddy is a buddy who's going to hold you accountable. And I think uh, accountability buddies are so important. We don't do enough to ask other people to hold us accountable. We rely on technology. We rely on other ways to hold us accountable. Maybe you set a reminder. Maybe you set an alarm, whatever it may be, but you're doing something to hold yourself accountable. And that's really what it needs to be about is when you are trying to go through something and change something in your life, you have to have that level of accountability. And that's where I come in as a coach and help people through their accountability. You know, that's what they pay me for is to be that accountability buddy because maybe they don't want it to be someone that they're close to. Maybe they want somebody who's objective. You know, like he said, he was going to the restaurant and he would text Bill you know, what, you know, what can I eat? And Bill would say, send me a picture of the menu so he could pick out the right thing. But that's really holding somebody accountable to doing the work. And I just thought that that was just a tremendous thing. But one of the other things I, that's been coming up a lot that I've been hearing is from my clients and even my own kids. It's, dad, you're not listening to me. You know, my clients are like, people aren't listening to me. I don't feel like people are listening. Dad, you're not listening. Dad, what did I just say to you? And, you know, I am guilty of it. And it's so, it's so interesting because my son always says this to me. He says, you talk to people all day long and I need you to listen to me and you're not available to listen to me. And that kind of hurts my feelings sometimes. But when I was working through what was the way I can emphasize the importance of communicating effectively, it made me think of when he comes and asks me or starts talking to me, there's never that question of, is this a good time to chat? Is this a good time to have a conversation? And it's one of the things that I work through with a lot of people that are struggling either in managing their employees or having difficulty in their relationships with their partner, their spouse, their girlfriend, their boyfriend, whomever. And it's such an important question to ask. When you need to have a conversation, it's important to ask, is this a good time to have a conversation? Is this a good time to speak? You know, because if you're not prepared to speak, you're not prepared to pay attention. And that's what listening really requires. It's an intentional giving of our attention to what someone is saying. You know, hearing versus listening. Okay, I was reading an article on Very Well Mind in preparing for a presentation that I'm going to be doing soon. And one of the things that they made a differentiation between was hearing versus listening. And it struck me, like, what is the difference between hearing and listening? Well, hearing is one of our five senses. Hearing is involuntary. You don't have to make a conscious choice to hear somebody. 
You can hear a sound, you can hear anything because it's one of our five senses. It's what keeps us connected to the world. It's part of what communi- how we communicate with the outside world from, our, from ourselves. And hearing is effortless. Hearing is lax, you don't need to pay attention. Whereas listening is the complete opposite. When we're going to listen to someone, we have to give over our attention. We have to make the intention to listen. We have to take an action. It's action. It is not involuntary. It's not something automatic. It requires an action. And that's what makes it difficult. It makes it difficult to listen. But listening is so important to our mental health, just as hearing is important to our mental health. Think about it. If somebody loses their hearing or somebody, you know, especially the hearing, you know, if if you were born without hearing, you've learned different ways to communicate with the outside world. And sometimes that could be very frustrating. But at the same time, if you've had hearing and you lose that hearing, that could also become very frustrating. It could really become demoralizing to people. It can isolate somebody who's struggling with that. So from a mental health perspective, it's really important that we do understand the impacts of losing hearing, just as we have to understand the impact of not listening. When we don't listen, and we don't listen to our kids or our our spouses or our friends or our family, when we're not actively engaging in that form of communication, we can be isolating somebody. We can be losing our opportunity to express compassion, empathy. We're losing that opportunity to hear what somebody needs to say and the feeling that they need to be heard, right? We all want to be heard. And listening is the vehicle to making that happen. When we listen actively, when we engage with someone actively, we are listening and we are helping someone to be heard. But the further step that we have to take is we have to reiterate what that person has just said to us. I often say to my clients, so what I hear you saying is dot, dot, dot. What I hear you saying validates what they are being, that what they are saying, and it validates that they're being heard. And that's what we have to remember. So if it's not a good time for you to talk, You have to say, it's not a good time for you to talk. Say, can we talk about this later? Can we make a time to talk about this? Because right now I can't give my attention to that. And I think that's so important because it will eliminate so much of the miscommunication or the anger and the frustration in relationships when one of you sets that boundary. That's a very healthy boundary. Just because the phone rings doesn't mean you have to answer the phone. Somebody else is saying, I want to talk and I need to talk. But if you're really going to be able to listen to that person, you have to make yourself available to that person. So if you have to let it go to voicemail, it goes to voicemail. But the point is, is that you don't have to take that call at that very moment. If they call back, obviously it's an emergency, you're going to take that call. But you don't have to. Set that as a boundary. A lot of times when we're in relationships that are really hard for us, and we just answer that phone when that person calls, we're conditioning a response in them that, that we're always going to answer that phone. And we're conditioning that response that we're always going to be ready to talk with them and be ready to listen to them. And that could be just as dangerous as not doing it. You need to take care of yourself first. You need to have that boundary. You need to set up that placeholder. So if you're really going to listen well, Be intentional in listening. Ask a lot of questions when you're talking with someone and you will do better. All right. I want to just give a shout out and thanks Craig Craig Bender again for being on the show. And listen, if you're a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, a business owner, or anything like that, and you're struggling with communication, you're struggling with stress, overwhelm, give me a call. Text me at 516-588-0750. That's 516-588-0750. This is Tom Marino saying choose your adrenalized life. Like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy. Clap low if you know what you
Cause I'm happy 